We're like, we're gonna figure it all out. <laughs> that's fun. That's something our family does really well. We do things really late, and that's fine. <laughs> it's just more fun that way, because then you know you, you kind of shake it up a little bit. But I thought, you know, since we're here at church, it'd be fun to give the Lord some praise here before I jump into my set. You all right with that? <laughs> I remember when I started out in uh, a church in Hawaii and leading worship in the youth group. Um, it started with my youth pastor, he figured out, my youth worship pastor, he figured out a saying. And he was like, oh, you should, you should start leading worship here. And I'm like, great. He's like, oh man, just come back with songs. And I came back like three weeks and then he quit his job and then he came to worship. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was just a kid that was kind of taking the spot and he was like, just done with it. But, I had no idea that God would continue to rock my life and change his perspective on everything. Um, someone shared this really beautiful perspective. They said that God doesn't have any grandchildren. And I was like, what do you mean by that? It was like, well, you can't get into heaven off of the relationship your parents have with God. You gotta know who he is for yourself. And um, 